Hello, everyone. Well, I'm using my other computer. It says my MacBook is getting full. And it looks dark. I don't know. Okay, so tonight I'm going to attempt to make pizza at home. Now, I did buy the frozen dough because I told y'all in, I think, my last video, I have never, ever made homemade pizza. Never. So, I'm building up to it. <laughs> and I figured I would start with the store-bought, it's just, it, it's in the freezer section and it came with two um, balls of dough. And I just followed the directions on the back, got it in my bowl over here, and I'm just going to do, I bought um, fresh mozzarella, I bought, this is a sauce I'm going to be using, I'm going to try this, never tried it before, so we're going to try this, so I'm just going to do a plain cheese for our first time, so if, it, if everything turns out okay, then I'll make the second one, and then I'll put toppings on it. So, yeah. And then I got um, instead of flour, I'm going to try this. Because I like when you go to a pizza shop, and it has, like, those little little tiny balls on the bottom of the pizza. So I looked up what it was and they say it's cornmeal. So, excuse me, I'm trying this. I'm trying this cornmeal. So let's get started. <laughs> oh, let me just show you the mozzarella while I got I got this mozzarella. I never even bought one of these before. <laughs> so let's get to it. I'm so nervous. I have the oven on. I was reading that a lot of people put it on 500. That scared me a little bit. So the oven's already preheated to 450 degrees. And here we go. I wonder if I can do this over. I've never done this before, y'all. I always, I keep this here because when I do my, oh my God, you guys are going to laugh at me. When I make my Starbucks curing thingies, I, I only use filtered water in the thing. And each morning, I run this through. <laughs> I run this through like two times. And then I'll do, I'll put my cake up in and I'll get my cup. And then when my cup is done, then I run it through two times again. So that's why I always have an extra cup sitting there because I'm always running it through. See, this is hot though. Is that going to matter? That oven's been on for a while. So I'm, I'm just going to stay right here. Okay. And I just laid a piece of parchment paper on top of the extra um, pizza pan that I have. So I'm just going to, I don't know what I'm doing. This, this may possibly be a fail. And if it's a fail, I'm still going to post the video, but I'm going to say fail. So here we go. We're just going to, I'm just going to dust some of this onto the parchment paper here. Don't ask me how much. I never did this before. So I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't want to have to get more out. So yeah, I figured I'm going to try it this way first, and then if everything goes well, 
I can, in a few weeks, I can try to make my own dough from scratch. But for right now, this is what we're working with. And like I said, I still have another frozen dough in the freezer because it comes in a pack of two. And I may have put too much oil. <laughs> I may have put too much oil. It says to coat your thing with oil. I don't know. So I did, but I think it might be a little too much. So that's what the dough looks like. I just followed the instructions on the back. Okay, now I guess we just kind of stretch it. Ew. Ew, that feels so weird. And I don't have a rolling pin. Actually, I think I do, but I don't know where it is. I know I haven't used it since I've lived here. How do those people turn it? Oh, my Lord. How are you supposed to work with this? Stretch it. Can y'all see what I'm doing? <laughs> I hope my webcam is not. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, oh, I got a little hole. Get back in there. We don't need no holes in it. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> no, why do we got a hole right there? I think I'm just going to try to Stretch this bad boy out of here. Because <laughs> obviously, I don't know what I'm doing the other way, so I'm just going to stretch it my way. try to make it into somewhat of a circle. <laughs> Got a little hole right there. Have to patch that up right there. Yeah, so this may not look very pretty.
They say you're not supposed to mess with it too much. I watched a lot of pizza videos. How's that look? I don't want to stick it over there because it's that whole area over there is hot. It's kind of like pulling and stretching. I'm trying to get the crust. I'm trying to make it a little bit thicker on the edges. I hope it's like thin. I want like a thinner crust. Or I mean like a thinner, yeah, thinner crust. And this one area over here that's kind of... I guess it doesn't have to be perfect, right? We're just eating it. What do y'all think? Good enough? And I put a little bit of oil on this pan. Now how are we going to get it over there? Oh, it's going to mess it up! Don't work with me. You know what? That's going to be good enough. Okay. Cut 
kind of reminds me of egg. Like when you hard boil an egg and then you take the peel off of it. That's what it kind of feels like. That's what it kind of feels like. I hope this melts okay with it being since I didn't grate it. Although I saw some people have it chopped. I was gonna try to like chop some and then put like bigger slices like um what you call it? Uh screaming Sicilian does. I lost another pound today when I got on the scale. Six pounds total. That's good. I worked out today. I'm pretty darn proud of myself. I did get more of those. Um, Pepperidge Farm toasted marshmallow cookies because they were still two for six. So I did have a couple of those today, but that's all I had. Well, that and my Starbucks. So I am hungry and it's late. You don't even want to know how late it is. Because you know, some days it just takes me a while to get ready. Right, I think that's good enough to start off with. I mean, I know I'm going to need more, but. Start off there. Definitely gonna need more, but I'll get that sauce on there. Should we try to do it like they do it? mess all over the jar. Oh my goodness. See, I don't even know how much sauce. I like it to be, I like it to be able to taste the sauce. You know? I don't want it to be soggy. Good, I hope. I hope that's enough. I hope that's enough, but I hope it's not too much. <laughs> okay. We're just going to sprinkle our mozzarella. Like, I don't even know how the mozzarella melts. Like, you live and you learn. The only way you learn is if you do it. Well, no, don't fall down either. And if you make mistakes, you do it again and you fix your mistakes. Right? And if you make a, a mistake, 
more than likely you won't make that same mistake twice. Right? Oh, we definitely need more mozzarella. Because I like my cheese. I don't even know how long I'm going to cook this, you guys. I'm just going to keep watching it. I'll probably set the timer for like 10 minutes, check it. Because I like mine a little bit more well done. But I'll let you guys know when we eat this. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this video. And then once I get it into the oven, I'm going to stop this video. And then I will be back to eat it once it's done. Some people don't like to watch it eat. Some people like to just watch the cooking stuff. Some people like to watch both, but that's why I just started doing it like this. Plus, that way it's not like an hour long video. <laughs> Actually, with me, it'd probably be an hour and a half. Because you guys know I eat slow. Oh my goodness, I took this. <laughs> I'll get, Actually, I'll show you guys what I'm eating. I took this test. See, like if you're ADHD, <laughs> my score was pretty high. I had my doctor appointment on Monday, and I'm kind of like, should I? It's just my family doctor for my checkup. I'm like, should I take this paper in with me? But I'll get it out and show you guys when I'm eating. And my nose is running, of course. What else is new? I'm not even eating. What the heck? Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Oh, there's some big holes right there. Yeah, I don't know how this melts, you guys. So I don't know if I'm putting way too much. <laughs> Guess we'll find out, won't we? Mm -hmm. We will find out. I can't believe tomorrow's Friday already. This week flew by. So yeah, if this turns out okay, I'll make that second. Um, that's probably a lot, huh? I guess I won't do it like screaming Sicilian with those big round pieces because this might be a lot already. I, I have no idea. Crap, what was I saying? Some of you that have done this before, <laughs> some of y'all are probably laughing at me. They're probably like, oh my god, that's going to be overflowing with cheese. Girl, just you wait until that pizza's done. You overdid it with that cheese. <laughs> some of you are probably like, I wish she could hear her talking through the computer. I'm telling her, no, that's enough. It's going to be overflowing. Probably will be. But I love cheese, so you never have enough cheese, right? Okay, that might be it.
but yet it is actually 9.30 on Thursday night. Yep. My hands are so dry from washing them so many times today. Okay. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to stick it into the 450 degree oven. There's our pizza. And that's all I'm putting on this. But yeah, if it turns out okay, I'll make a pizza again. Ooh. I was going to do a thumbnail like that, but no. Let's do it like this. Um, but yeah, if it turns out, then I'll make it again. On it. So I'm just going to start out with 10 minutes just so I can keep an eye on it. Timer 10 minutes. No, not one minute. Oh, excuse me. And that's all I got for right now. I'm just going to clean up my mess, let this cook, and once it's done, I will be back to eat for you guys. So that's all I have for right now. Hope you guys enjoyed watching me do this. It's the first time I've ever done it. I know it's a frozen pizza dough, but it's still the first time I've ever done it. Baby steps, remember, baby steps. So that's all I got. I'll be back as soon as this is ready. Have a great night, everyone, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, everyone. Hopefully this turns out. Pray that it does. This video won't stop. Stop. Oh, my God. You guys. Oh, my God.